Hello everyone, today on the channel Yes, yes, yes You know, it's time for Limited And yes, last week we didn't have Alchemy But this week it's available So we're gonna jump in into a premier Draft of Lost Caverns of Ixalan Alchemy Edition And yes, as usual You know, this is always happening because we always mention it we have actually not looked at any of the alchemy cards and it's a premier draft so <laughs> let's get it on and hopefully we can read everything fast and in case you're wondering about normal drafts we have played one sealed one premier and two quick drafts as of the making of this video and uh, the last quick draft did not go so well last week uh, we went 7-1 in sealed 6-3 in Premier and then 5-3 in the first Quick Draft. So only the last Quick Draft. We did not do so well. I think that's the one we tried to be in 3 colors. Which is obviously a bad idea for us. Because 3 colors just does not work for us. It works for other people but it does not work for us. So we went in 3 colors. I think we only got 3 wins. Two wins or three wins? Anyway, we can't even remember. But, uh, it is what it is, as they say. So let's pay attention and see what we get and what alchemy cards we get. I have to read them. We should be able to know a lot of the other cards to, to play in the last three drafts in the sealed. I think we're just gonna take trumpeting carnals out here. Where's the alchemy card? Oh, it's an uncommon? Draw a card if a mana from a treasure was spent to cast this spell, seek a pirate card and say, yeah, not interested in that. We're snap taking trumpeting carnosa. As a copy of uh, any land, that's not gonna do much. Press this. Target points, no land card, not interested in discard cards. So, what do we wanna go? Red, black? Uh, red, black, or red, white? Red, green. We're just gonna try for black. We can't even remember, but... Uh, I think we haven't played Rakdos yet. I forgot what we played before. Like, literally. Forgot everything. Uh, okay, so let's not read all the stuff. Throw two cards in. Nothing good. Good. So we're gonna take this guy. I don't know if you wanna play it, but... Could be interesting. I'm not even sure if red, black even has any synergy. I mean, the color, the colors that have the most removal. And as you know, in Constructor, we love to play Rakdos. What is available? White seems to be very available. Black also seems to be available. Spike there is not bad, and he has Swamp Cycling. And I think we're gonna go for the Spike Tail here. As usual, we gotta look for removal. You know, we like to pick out removal early, possibly the first pack or maybe in the second pack. We also top heavy. And we also got to keep an eye out for caves. Otherwise, this thing's going to be 8 mana, 5-5. Five, five, and that's just totally sucks. If we can get to caves, might do something. And this is 6 mana. But it's very good in terms of what it does. And this is just... I don't know why we picked this like second pick. I guess there's nothing else. Not second pick, third pick. Might have some use, but I think most likely we're not gonna play this. It's only good if we can put something big on it. That's useful. I think I'm just gonna go for the big mountain cycling card. Got the never played with this before. Six by oh this is a guy that sucks a land to draw a card. Okay, he's not bad late game. Not bad at all. 
So what we gotta look for is more creatures and remover because our top end is like I don't know. We literally got like four four big guys. Not counting the flying thing. Got four big guys. Which are all pretty good at the top end. So we gotta look for caves. Well, we don't have any removal in the top five picks. And caves removal and a lot of tiny creatures. So we don't get totally destroyed. Or even get to cast our big stuff. Because it can happen. Not gonna lie, it can definitely happen. We can get run over. Okay, this guy is good. Uh, this guy is also good. This guy is also. I think I'm gonna take it out his favor here. It's just really, really good. Defossilize, uh, that's, that's good. Yeah, we always have to take defossilize here. Sorry, we gotta pay attention to. We gotta take defossilize there. Just in case we, we use our, uh, what is it called, our trumpeting carnosal to discard it to do three damage. Having one defossilize, which is just reanimating spell. It's really, really, really good. We always try to play one if we play black. I mean, if we play any set that has like a 5 mana reanimating spell, we always try to draft one. So now we gotta build something. Each. It's not gonna do. This thing is just worth its weight in gold. I'm not sure why it's pick 8, but we're gonna take it. As you know, if you ever watch us, we played this in sealed, I think, the first time, and then we played it in, I think, every single draft. It's just so incredibly versatile and it's a common too okay what is this to draw a card if a mana from a treasure sick of pirate card not interested in this this guy is huge this guy is we don't have any options we gotta take another huge guy so it looks like everybody's taking small creatures which means we have to focus on small creatures next pack Oh, we're gonna take this instead of another one of those. Definitely, definitely. After teaching and discover, I don't think we want another blowgun. So we gotta take the only card that's in our discover for doesn't do much for us because right now we basically have like nothing for discover for. I take this, but I don't think we. Okay, so we have nothing. This is really, really strange. We literally have no remover. Unless you count this guy. Uh, I guess, take this. We have no remover and we have literally nothing. Like, this thing is 4 mana. We have like nothing under 4 mana to cast. So we gotta hurry up and take creatures like there's no tomorrow. Okay, this guy is not that good, but... Hopefully we won't have to play him, but... What the hell is this? Explore, okay, we can't do anything about that. Is this a few creature? Just a pumping. Chop dread, that's not good. Removal. Okay, it's good. Okay, it's also good. Where is the. This guy is the. Okay, we don't, we don't have time to read it, so. I think we're just gonna take. Do we want the flail? I think we're just gonna take the flail here, just because the other thing is a common. I mean, we already have the blowgun. Why? Why it seems to be open? Wide open for some reason. Okay, gotta take the removal. Can't take creatures. We definitely have to start taking removal. 
Ah, this guy is useful, but we can't take it yet. We're gonna have to take the removal again. We've got to take removal high. Ah, that guy is good, but we gotta start taking small guys. So take the two drop that has death touch. Just five mana. That guy is too expensive. It's four mana. We have too many high casting cost stuff. Top two and top three. Guess we'll take this guy over the five drop. Oh boy. Way too many high costing stuff. Huh? So we can't take any more random stuff, we already have two equipment, we have a lot of artifacts. So that's not a problem, the problem is we need a lot more 2 drops and 3 drops. Italy, we need another 2 drop and 3 drop, we still got a pack and a half left to go. Technically we shouldn't panic yet. And we did manage to. What is this? It's in our color, so we're gonna have to take it. Exile up to one target creature card from a graveyard. Conjure into your graveyard. The pick up your cards. And dies with an Okay, whatever it is, we're gonna have to take it. It's in our color. It's three mana creature which we need. Uh, we also. This is removal though. Okay, we're gonna have to take the creature. We might get another Titan Braid. I mean, we still have one more pack to go. So, as we said, we shouldn't technically panic. 4 mana, 3-3. Three, three. We're not gonna descend too often. Uh, 1 mana is not bad. We like the 4 mana guy better. Another chance, no. Uh, I think we're gonna have to take... The three drop over the other four drop. Greedy. Sure, we'll take the one drop. Okay, so good news is. The good news is we managed to grab some small creatures. We still need more. We need more two drops. We only have one, one drop and one two drop. At least three drops. We managed to have like three. Then our top end is still like way too fat, which means we don't need like anything. And we managed to get one cave. I think we don't need this guy. I think we'd rather take the second cave. To work, we need to get like more caves. Um, doesn't matter what we take here. So what we need, we need removal, because we literally only have two. We managed to get two removals. Huh? Why it seems to be like under drafted like hell. This is gonna be strange. This is also not in our colors. We have one flare already. Leech, we already have one. Uh, that might be good, but we need a ray of ruin here so we can't even pay attention to anything else. Uh, if it's better than this, could be good. Especially since we don't have anything else. Yeah, we'll take the three, three mana dino. Two mana stuff, but in some cavalry, it is indeed two mana stuff. I don't want, I now don't want this. Take this cavalry. They definitely need two, two more. I mean, uh, not two more, two more two mana stuff.
Come on, something good. Color. Ah, uh, this guy's good, but we flash white. We have this the Mirza card, which will be the best. Torch is good. She control toxin only against death touch and life link. Creature attacks alone. Do we want? I think we're just gonna take the three mana flyer. Ah, uh, yeah, captivating. Not just because we need caves, but because there's like nothing else in our color there. Okay, so it's not shaping up too bad. We would still, right now we only have two removal spells. We would still like to. There's nothing we have to take this. I don't think we're getting any more removal. Oh no, we have the five mana one too. So we have three removal spells. This guy is not that useful. This guy is. Uh, could be interested. Craft with two creatures. Six mana to craft. We're just gonna take the cave. Ah, malicious eclipse. Why is this coming so late? But we're gonna take it. We don't have a lot of small stuff, so we definitely need a minus. Another gargantuan leech. It's doable. Now that we got four caves, I think. That's okay, right? Yeah, we managed to get four caves. And Screaming Phantom, yeah, come to daddy. I don't know if we want to play two of them. Healing is not that good for us. However, we do have the one card that brings stuff back. Unless we meet it. Then we're gonna try. Okay, so the deck is shaping up to be much better than expected, but we're gonna have to cut. Gonna have to cut deep. Ooh, what do you want, sir? Yeah, we're gonna take another cavern. I think the cave cave mechanic is okay, but it's a little bit underrated. And obviously, in three colors, you don't want to play a lot of colorless lands. But we are obviously deeply in two colors. We are deeply in two colors. Okay, we're gonna have to cut. And cut deep. Our top end is pretty good. The only problem here is we don't have enough room. That is the problem. Has to go deep. We definitely do not have enough to not going to buy. Going to oh, we don't have to cut anymore. Okay. Ah. Uh, our top end is really really good. We managed to get like five caves. Which it's not too bad, not too shabby. Seventeen creatures is fine. The only problem is we got three removal spells. We have one one drop. We only have two two drops. Uh, we have a lot of three drops actually. Three, two, three. Four, five. Six. Okay, so you have six three drops. So if we get to three mana, we are fine. And then four drops, we only got one guy. And then five drops, we got one, two.
And then this could technically be fire drops if we have three caves somewhere. Okay. So we're not gonna lie, the deck is not the worst deck. The only problem that we have is we have only three removal plus the dinosaur. So four removal at best. We don't have a lot of ways of dealing with flyers. Oh no, we have the board wipe. Okay, we have four four removal. Spells plus the dinosaur. We forgot we have the minus to board wipe. Which can work for us because we literally don't have a lot of We literally do not have a lot of uh small creatures so the minus two minus two thing late game could be really good we have a lot of big boys but the only thing we hope is don't face a hyper aggro deck because we are kind of slow that is an issue. That is an issue. We are too slow. But aside from that, we're not too bad at all. Uh, we'll keep this. Don't have a lot of payoffs for discarding stuff. But When I mold, to the Millennium Calendar, we're not even going to bother to read what it does yet. Yeah, luck with that. Good luck with that. Where's our double black though? Just our luck. Later we need double black for like everything. So we managed to not draw any creature. We drew all four of our removal spells. Which does not bode well. We need like a second black mana ASAP. Then we are okay. Because we drew all our removal spells and they all have double black. Do we have more red than black? That's pretty good card. Okay, we got our second black, so... Uh, Gonna get rid of this now. Bye. They can double this to 12, 24, how they 1000. Get to like 300 counters. Double to 600. This is. Technique. Don't want to meet. I guess it's possible one to like twenty. They can start doubling. Okay. Have to swamp cycle this. Yeah, let's cycle him. Then he bad boy. And he 
and he can't gain fly yet. Uh, we gotta start attacking. Can we for them and their calendar? You get the first turn. And obviously they are in three colors. This is what we're saying. People play in three colors with Cavernous more, which is pretty ridiculous. Pretty ridiculous. Oh, for each permanent you on top, you get a counter. Oh, okay, so they could get to 100 quickly and then they can double it. 100 counters, or at least 50, and then 100, 200, 400. Okay, that's good. Okay, hopefully this stays at 2. Land, or oh, they can keep it. But actually, even if it goes higher than 2, we can kill it with this. If it stays at 2, we can just pour it down. If they draw more stuff, this thing has flying. They put stuff in the graveyard. I don't know, but okay. This is it. I don't understand how this deck works, how opponent's deck always works. Honestly, we don't understand. Uh, think so, this guy. Like, we gotta put pressure on them. Screaming Phantom is not gonna put much pressure on them. Because it didn't draw enough creatures or just attack them. I knew what we drew was removed. Okay. They're gonna try to win with the calendar, which there's not much you can do about, but... Four colors. White, green, yeah, four color deck. How does this even work? And they have more cards than us, too. It's like a... F card deck. Gonna kill it. Uh, oh, because you get a treasure token. You can kill this right when they pump it. Why well, can't cast spells doing that? I have to kill it during this turn. Ah, it's so ridiculous. And they get to 50. 60, okay, they can start to double in now, 70 something, 150, and then... I don't understand how this works. Yep. Still can't... Still 7. It's gonna be a race. Try to beat the Millennium Calendar, apparently. Yeah, they wanna keep us from getting... Getting extra creatures, which works, because for some reason we cannot draw our creatures. Yep. Do not draw our creatures. To cast this big boy, and hopefully they don't have removal. Hopefully, and of course they have. This is when we're saying, like every time we make these 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 things, and we're saying like they are rigged. These games are rigged. It's like they are playing a four color deck. Like they're just missing red. Four color deck, which has this, like fifty card deck. I don't know because ours was forty two, and they still have more cards than us, and they drew extra cards. Like how does a fifty card four color deck beats a two color like forty two card deck? How? I just don't know. The fact that we drew all the remover early 
and we literally didn't draw any creatures like they still have like more creatures than us 60 500 yeah they just have to double it two more times and it's game over and we literally have nothing to show and they also try to attack us too this is what we and of course we draw this because why would we draw this Nothing. I think we're just gonna draw to gonna lose to damage if they attack us for like five plus three that's eight. Basically almost there. They don't even have to double it. Of course they cast it first turn in a fifty card deck. They cast it first turn in a fifty card deck with this this is how ridiculous this stuff this this rigging of this game is they are like 50 card deck at least first turn this in a four color deck and they get this card first turn yeah and then they can pump it and they attack us for a so basically a one so they can't even win to the calendar because it's just gonna beat us by aggroing us with the 50 card deck because literally cannot draw creatures through like how many creatures like three, three creatures the whole game wow i'm sure they might think that They might think that it's can't discard that. They might think that they are amazing. Okay, they can just double the counter and then win with this. Give them a chance to win with Millennium Calendar. Yep, win with Millennium Calendar because if they attack us, it's just like normal win. There's no point. We lost minus lost minus one thousand life. <laughs> Can say it's not entertaining. Cannot say this is not entertaining. Okay, let's move and try to play a normal game. That was absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, when we saw first the Millennium Calendar and then they play like three colors and then four colors, and we literally drew like we drew the lands, but we also drew like nothing except. Nothing except removal and no creatures, even though we have 17 creatures. I mean, we cast like nothing until like turn 3 or turn 4, I think. The first creature, the 2 mana 1 1, was like turn something. I don't know what to turn, but. This thing attacking and meeting a card every turn might not be the best thing. It does combo with this dude. Kind of. Now we need a board wipe. A board wipe for this. Yeah, for this type of deck. Okay, this deck makes more sense. 50 card deck again? No, this is more than 50 cards because they already played. Now it's 50 card. Why are we playing? This is the second we played against 50 card deck. Like, what? Like, what's going on? We literally supposed to lose to like 50 card decks. Literally. And this is a must, it's not a meal. Okay, where's the minus two? Like we just need a minus two card and then it's over. We're not drawing that. Um, I think this guy is the best. Oh, 
That's not bad. This guy gets to 3 3. Bust the Yeah, they kind of combo with each other. I'm gonna look to kill this guy some. What? It's a 0 0. Equal to colors. This isn't colorless. Okay, so this opponent doesn't know what the hell he's doing, so. Just gonna start to smash face at this point. I don't even care anymore. Just don't wanna lose this guy until he gets to be 4 4. He gets to be 4 4. Yeah, we don't care if this guy dies because we get to discover 3. And now they need a board wipe. Hopefully they don't have again. We didn't check what board wipes there are in this set. Hopefully there's no board wipes in Arkham. We didn't even check in Excel on what's the board wipes that's available. Okay. Cover five. Oh, they got a one one. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's okay. So, opponent does not know what the hell they are playing. In that case, just try to finish them all quickly. Come on, we just want to get our win quickly. This is more like the normal situation that should happen with 50 card deck. Normal situation. Come on, just block something. Yeah, it tramples. I guess they can block the other guy or the other guy either, but sure would take this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, just concede. For the love of God, we don't have time for this. We drafted like a, I don't know what the hell this is, but it's obviously a poor deck. I also, you're not getting any good luck because we basically wasted our bad luck on the previous opponent, but everything went perfect for them with a four color 50 card deck that managed to win with the even card. Just concede. Yeah, okay. Why would they not even destroy this? Why would they destroy the treasure? Not like it matters, I mean, this is dead. Point of cycling, just concede. This person just like play magic for the first time. Like you should not be playing premium draft if you're gonna play magic. Now you're just learning how to play magic.
absolutely unbelievable. That's why it's, it's giving uh, it's giving people like Sky to Sky to into what? You already tapped out and you're dead. What is the point? I don't understand why people want to waste this time. Like we just let usually we'll concede in this situation, but like we're like recording videos so we kinda want people to see what's happening. Also the other guy wanted to win with a crazy clock. So he gave him the chance to double all his counter so he can make us lose one thousand life. Otherwise we would just concede. <laughs> And hopefully nobody thinks that these guys that managed to draft strange four color deck with fifty cards. Uh, not the best, but hopefully we top deck a swamp. Why is everybody like casting like one, one, the one? I guess we could use this to kill the player. Don't want to, but we need a swamp. Yeah, we have a marionette too. Okay, so I think this is just gonna have to kill the marionette. I mean, we do have the dirty animating card if we ever draw it. Oh, we forgot to check if we have more swamps than mountains. Oh, God. Okay, we definitely have to make sure we have more swamps than mountains because we have a lot of double back. Okay, there's one swamp. Do we want a meal to cars? No, <laughs> because we necess definitely need a fifth land, especially a second swamp. Opponent is getting like the best mana of their life. I guess it's the exile. I don't know why they didn't crew this and attack. I guess they don't want their artifact to die to the death touch guy. Okay. So fortunately, we have to mountain cycle this. Even though we need two swamps too, but we also need mana. Just period. To pass. We need a fifth mana for this, we gotta kill something. This thing hits non basic lands too, for some reason. Okay. We need second swamp. Or oh, we need the reanimator thing to bring back trumpet encounters. Oh they went for it now, okay. But we can kill it with the marionette. Hold on. The fact that they create a treasure token is a problem, no? And yes, I know we have a lot of top-end creatures, but we actually have the mana now, so... Where's the minus two thing? Yeah, we definitely need the minus two thing. To basically almost board wipe them, like we have to kill this guy. To kill the biggest thing. Let's cry. Is it a swamp? No, it's a leech. I can cast a leech yet. We definitely need a second swamp. Or we need a reanimating card ASAP to bring back trumpeting canoes. Or... Yes, more small guys. That makes even more small guys. It's not looking good for us. 
this thing doesn't have for strike or something. Okay. Okay, we got the swamp. I guess we're getting what we need to be getting. Except for the board wipe. Definitely don't want to use it on a one one. The hell is This thing just gets bigger. So we gotta get rid of this. We also have to basically get rid of this too because it starts making one ones. Yep. Gotta take this out now. Fortunately, we can't cast anything else because. I have enough swamps, I guess we can cast two of these next turn, and we gotta stop drawing lands now. Give me one ones, which is gonna be bad unless we draw the miner. Lots to hell and back. Turn. And it's scary because they still have three cards in hand. So we gotta stop drawing lands. We need a removal ASAP. I mean, not removal, reanimating. We need to draw the five mana reanimating ASAP. If not, we have to suck this to start pumping these guys and put it on this guy, maybe. Uh, Taggy Kitch against Menace. Which doesn't do anything for us. This guy bigger and then these guys are gonna get end of turn they become three trees we're still losing to the one one flyer but at least now if we draw the minus two and we can kind of try to board wipe the opponent but don't board wipe ourselves that's not good come on reanimating thing but at least the minus two will get rid of this thing we don't have to worry about it that is absolutely devastating, ridiculous. Can give him manners, but can't attack because he's just gonna get. So they can't really attack us on the ground. We can't attack them on the ground. I hope they draw a land, but. They're counting the land, so it doesn't look like they draw a land. We need to draw the animating spell ASAP. And we also need to draw the minus two minus two thing ASAP. Meanwhile, we're gonna take more damage from the stupid player because we have nothing to deal with it. This thing can also start to get big. Where's the flyer that meals? At least he would block their flyer. Okay, there it is. At least now they can't attack us in the air past the turn. Where is the five mana defossilized for the love? All that is holy. We literally got the five mana defossilized. Yeah, this thing can keep on making one once. And then they can keep sucking it too. And of course they cast more creatures. Okay, we have 17 creatures. We need a minus two, minus two ASAP. Why are we still drawing lands? What's the turn? They have eight. We have two, four, six, eight, nine. Discard any lands? No. We already drew one more land than them. Because they can keep making tokens. And of course, of course, they have something to destroy. 
they finally do the one removal spell. Come on, minus two, minus two. Even though it doesn't really kill these guys and then they just can continue to make tokens. But at this point, if they start to make like nine tokens, they can just attack us with everything. And of course we draw more lands because we have to lose this draft no matter what. First we lost the first game to the opponent with a crazy stupid clock and four color deck. Next we beat the second opponent that basically didn't know what they're doing with their fifth like whatever 50 card deck. Now we're losing to just floating to hell and back. We have board wipe, we have that, that thing like reanimating which can put this guy into play and probably another creature into play. <sighs> opponent just <laughs> they still have to crew it <laughs> but now they have a 5-5 five, five flyer which I don't know how we can deal with because we can't block it Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, so basically we have the minus two thing which can almost board wipe them and of course we can't draw it, we just draw lands while the opponent continues to draw I don't know, full cards so the chances of us winning this game is basically over <laughs> yeah they can just sit there until they make like 9 tokens like they said even now they can technically attack us with everything, we can block everything we only have 4 blockers I don't know why they keep wasting so much time. Uh. Oh, they did go for it. Okay. Well, what it is. We're probably not going to survive this, but should try to take out as many of those guys as possible this I'm gonna take out this the 5-5 five five has menace so we have to take the 5-5 five five. this one we have to take out I don't think that we can actually survive I'm gonna try oh that goblin also has menace yeah, they have two things with menace. Five, six, seven. Okay, this doesn't block. Yeah, I'm basically dead. Just don't have enough blockers. This stupid thing has menace, and then this stupid thing. And then they have six damage in the air. No, they have one damage in there. Five, six, seven, eight. But then there's three of these stupid things. So yeah, basically end this thing. So there's no way for us to win. Yeah, no way for us to win because we got floated to hell and back. And uh, basically, yeah, we got floated to hell and back. After we did so well in the sealed and the first couple of drafts, we got so excited about this set and then the last draft and then this draft, we're just getting like absolutely smashed. So there's, there's nothing we could have done there. There's absolutely nothing. Just kept the three line hand because why not? And yeah, we do have more swamps than mountains. And just add one more swamps for the hell of it because we we need double red, but we don't need double red that 
Uh, we need double back, but whatever. Nothing we could have done in that situation. Absolutely nothing. I mean, we have board wipes, we have the minus two, which could have obviously make sure that opponent doesn't attack us in that situation. We could have killed a lot of their all their one ones plus the two two with menace to gain us some time. We could have drawn the animating spell to bring back our dinosaur, so we have a big seven six guy, and he can discover five and probably put another creature into play, so we get two creatures for one spell. But we didn't draw that. We do three lands in a row. We do three lands in a row. And this is like which which opponent like what number of opponents that has actually managed to cast first turn card? I think every single opponent so far has managed to cast something on first turn. Another. Another deck. Come on, come on, come on. Floating. Floating seems to be the word of the day. And not drawing creatures also seems to be the word. Like we literally only draw one creature and it's a six mana creature. And we have 17 creatures. Yes, we. I'm not sure what the hell the point of this is. The 4-4. Four, four. Yes, you can hear us for two. Is this like mono blue deck? Literally, what is going on? At least they have like 40 card deck. But somehow they're still they're 7 cards deeper than us. Already. Oh my god. We literally drew like 3... Lands in oh, the good news is in two turns we can hard cast this. The bad news is the pro opponent probably is going to have already spell. They can craft this with the island in the graveyard, then they can create. So we gotta save this. What? Never opponent. A lot of map tokens. That is a lot of map tokens. Not gonna waste any more. Just. Uh, wasting our time. Absolutely disgusting. We drew four lands in a row, and now we they, we know they have a counter spell. 
we drew four lands in a row yeah so this this draft is basically a garbage throwaway draft throw a draft and then this thing is only two mana if it targets a creature spell so now we can't even cast our creature spell and opponent is a 19 cards they're 11 cards deeper than us Okay, now we can cast our creature spell because for some reason they decide to cast their 1 1. They don't have extra mana, do they? Wow! Wow! We only have one creature and we drew five lands in a row. We drew five lands in a row! Wait, how did they have the. Oh, they have. This thing sucks for any mana. Jeez. Okay, well, we don't have any creatures because we five lands in a row. And the opponent managed to counter our only creature. Like, if this doesn't prove, like, it's literally, if this doesn't prove to you that this game is rigged, this doesn't prove to you, like, this, this matches that we have, this literal crazy matches that we actually have, this doesn't prove to you that this game is rigged. I don't know what what's gonna prove. To you. I don't know what's gonna prove to you that this game is. Let me get there. Have another counter spell. This doesn't prove to you that this game is rigged. I don't know what we are. 6 7. Okay. We have a 6 4. If we put this on it. Stuck with the unblock of a guy. Yeah, that's fun. Oh, we can, we can make it bigger with this. Can make it a seven five and block this to be they are literally twelve cars deeper than us. Faster turn. Just in case they try to make this a seven eight. <sighs> yeah, they got nine islands in play, and they meal like I don't know four islands. So they have a 4-4 four, four unblockable. Very bad. This thing is also unblockable, so we basically almost dead. After we drew no less than 5 lands in a row. Mm-hmm. So basically, if we don't top deck a land, I mean, if we don't top deck remover for this, this thing next time we're basically dead. is blockable. It's unblockable. 
Obviously, we have to double block this. <sighs> yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, big games are rigged, y'all. Five lands in a row, and then we managed to draw another land. So, out of like seven turns, we drew like six lands. Out of seven turns. And the opponent just basically yield themselves to like 12 cards deeper than us. And there's not much we can do. I mean, we still need removal for this thing. And they also want to cast some, something else. One of blue deck. So, like, it's, it's just absolutely insane. We went from, like, four color deck to, like, I don't know, all kinds of color decks. And we can't throw removal. We can't throw, like, anything. The thing is, we can kill this thing now. Can we? Have enough, man. No, we can only activate one. Okay, we can't activate the second. That pretty much sucks. Then. Because they cast more creatures because they only have nine cards left in there. The library. So basically, it doesn't matter what we top deck. I think even if we top deck a uh, old wipe, I mean the minus two thing, that's not going to actually save us. Better take the four, go down to six, and then we top deck a remover. Kill this thing if it would. Attack us with it. Good, it doesn't matter. And of course we top deck the seventh land. Seventh land. How many we have? Nine? Ten. We have seven lands. If we top deck ten lands, opponent has like nine. And they only have eight cards left in the graveyard. Nine. Let's see how many they actually drew. Ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so opponent's twelve out of seventeen. So they have five left out of the eight cards left in the graveyard and we top deck 10 we have seven left out of 23 cards so uh, yeah are we going to win this even though the deck is like pretty decent we don't have enough small guys but we the top end is like stacked and like we have like removal we have like four or five removal spells we have the board wipe the minus two i don't know what else you want to say I don't know what else you want to say. Like the deck is just fine. The deck is absolutely fine. But yeah, I mean, you're gonna lose. What happened our first game that we lost? We got like mana screw, I think. We lost to like mana screw and then like mana flood. And then. Can't block it. And this thing flies. So the only thing you can block this point. So there you have it. Rigged games. Our first Alchemy Premier Draft has to be absolutely totally rigged against us. We got that one free win playing against a 50 card deck or the opponent basically didn't know what to do. But all the other three losses that we got, we basically had no chance to win. <laughs> This is what we try to explain. Even if you have a decent deck, like there's nothing really wrong with this deck. It's just a little bit low on small creatures. 
but I mean we do have like six or seven tree drops. Like how many do we even have? Like this is how ridiculous this is. We have one two drop and two we have two two drops, so it's not even that bad. And then we have two three. This guy we didn't even draw. Four five six. We have six three drops. Then one four drop. This we didn't even draw, and we needed like almost every single game we needed this. And I don't know, I think this guy we didn't draw either. And that's basically it. Two colors, and we can't make it work. And yet, we have opponents that are in four colors and they win like there's no tomorrow. Just one more video in the not really counters. It feels like countless videos explaining how rigged Arena is. When you're supposed to lose, you just basically lose. You lose. Even if the deck is good and you have some bombs, you just lose. Mana screw and then mana fraud and then you pay 10,000 gold for just 100 gems in one pack. So thank you for watching. Please click like and subscribe for more MTG content videos. Thank <laughs> you.